Hey, how are you doing? Hey, could I use that sword? Well, okay, but if you return it. Thanks. Scammed. Hello everybody and welcome to Pixel Worlds. My name is Jake and I am the community manager here in Pixel Worlds headquarters. Today we're going to talk about scamming. So why scamming is getting more popular in video games? Uh, well, actually it is not. Scamming is not a new phenomenon. It has existed um, since the players could interact with each other in internet and with video games and they could trade with each other and everything related to that subject. So why is people getting caught in this? Well, it's the same reason why people get caught in real life in scams. They trust someone else too much. So instead of losing your money in real life in video games, you're going to lose your um, wings or your weapon, your item, or well, in this case as well, you can lose the currency of that game. So why is this happening? Because people lie and people trust each other too much. Trust is a good thing. It is a very good thing. And when it is mutual, it will work. But when somebody else just abuses that trust, then what happens is a scam. You get cheated and you feel horrible. That's the fact. In Pixel Wells, there are a few basic scams that happen all the time and I'm going to show you these in this video to you guys so you will be aware of them. But remember, you can always make sure that you won't be scammed. It is up to you, will you or won't you be scammed? And let's go inside the game and uh, let's check out these scams, what they really are. Here we are inside the game and of course I am Jake but I'm also the guy on the right. So he asks, can I try your sword? I want to take a picture with it. Well, of course the culture of Instagram and sharing a pics is very good thing, um, very good thing for this community, but still some people do abuse it. So what happens? He just asks for it. I trust him too much. Of course, um, as I'm trusting player, I give you my sword and what is going to happen next? He hits trade confirmation. Okay, he gets my item. Well, that's good. Now he takes it and we're going to hope that he is going to give it back. But instead, what happens? So, 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 so. Scam. No! This kind of scam in Pixel Worlds is very common, so be careful when you're giving somebody something for free because you might not get it back. Okay, on to the next one. So it says to you, I want to buy your sword. Seven world locks. Wow, amazing. That's an overpay profit. So, yes, nice. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna place my sword. He's gonna place his seven world locks over there. And wait a minute, I just accepted it and he added another clothing item. Sorry, he misclicked. Oh, okay, so he will remove it. I'm gonna type, type OK. He removes it and we hit OK and accept. So, what happened here? Because we just got scammed. <laughs> Scammed. Wait, wait, what? No! So let's take this a little bit slower because sometimes it goes fast so quickly that you won't even know what happened. Everything was going normally until this very moment when he added this shirt into the trade. So the deal had changed. Now he's going to type something saying, um, sorry I misclicked, sorry uh, about that, which implies for you to reply to that message. Normally this guy is also very polite. This is so-called misdirection. Because he's so polite fellow, we want to respond to his message and we type something. While we are typing, he changes the amount of world locks. So we don't even recognize because we are preoccupied with writing this message. And now what happens next? He removes the extra item from the trade and hits accept very fast. And now what you have to do, of course, you want to accept it as well. It was a good trade, seven world logs, but it is actually one. You don't check the trade confirmation carefully and your item is gone. This is so-called trade scam. No! 
Now onto the last one, and this is so-called drop game, where the host of the drop game, he asks for you to drop something to win a prize. Who drops the most valuable thing wins. But instead, what happens if you drop something valuable, the host of the drop game is just going to block it, so you won't be able to pick it up anymore, and he's going to ban you out of his world, and he gets the prize. These are the major types of scams in Pixel Worlds right now. Of course, that doesn't mean that there won't be different ones in the future or in the past, and uh, you need to be aware all the time if somebody asks something for free. And that goes in the real life as well. I want you guys to also understand why we do not return stuff that is scammed from you if for some reason you get scammed. The reason for this is because if we would return it, then we would open ourselves to be scammable. And that means that you could give your stuff uh, to your friend and then say that, oh, I was scammed and I need my stuff back. And what happens is that, well, you scammed us in this way. We would also be all the time figuring out these scam situations and not actually developing the game. And that is a very bad thing for Pixel Worlds. So what I really want you guys to be is aware of this situation that there are liars in the world and there are people that will try to get your stuff. Even though we don't return stuff that is scammed from you, we do take action against scammers. Depending on the situation, we will ban them, for example, from one day to one month to eternity. So be aware of this and do not scam. If you have ever been scammed in Pixel Worlds, in real life, in some other games, please tell it in the comments below and let's talk about it there. And let's raise the awareness of scamming to everybody so that everybody will know how to deal with this so they won't get scammed in the future. Thank you guys for watching this episode. My name is Jake and as always guys, I'll see you in Pixel Worlds.